Then I began to have these dreams, where he, the intimate, was following me everywhere I went, and there was something like a clock keeping time to the beats, as if time itself were running out, and I could hear it, and at any moment, there would be no moments left. I was held suspended, helpless, a witness to what he chose to show me, while he every now and then asked this question, Will you do it, Karima? Will you take her into you? I felt my peace had been disturbed forever. He summoned me at dawn to the high tent. He was no longer confined to the flexi throne, and he could fly and hover freely at all hours, his colors changing with his moods. His sentence was nearly over, and I went with my thoughts and my anticipation to hear him tell me when we would leave together. It would be hard to leave this world, the only one I had ever known, but I would go anywhere with him, of course. He was my creator and the only one I loved and knew. When I arrived, he was changing color forms, and I waited quietly for him to speak to me. This is the first time he called me here to be with him, and I looked forward to his words that would pour into my mind from him. I sat, and he hovered in front of me, and his voice entered into my comprehension. I heard his tone so serious, and this was not expected. And then with each word, I felt my heart sink deeper, and although my eyes were dry of tears, my heart began to cry, as I realized now what he was saying to me. He was saying, he would not take me, could not take me with him, and I felt fear begin to strangle me, and deep desperation pooled and overflowed within me. I asked him, how can this be, that you will not take me? And he said, it is not what I want, but it is how it is. No, I can't, I said, I can't stay here without you. I will die of loneliness, as my heart will stop beating the second that you leave me behind. No, he said, you can't stay here without me, as here will disappear into the nothingness when I am called back to my world. This is the end of me. No, there is a way, he said, I will perform the transference fertilization that will place you into Karima's mind, and you will live inside of her, your memories of me and our world. You will not lose them, but you will have them in her dreams, and you will form part of her life, but I will lose myself, and this is death for me. No, part of you will survive, part of you must survive. Night after night, he held me suspended, witnessing places I had never seen. Was this the world he was showing me, the same one he showed my Aunt Karima, and made her shatter and break apart? These new dreams did not seem mine. I felt they were hers, my aunt's, as if he were showing them to me from a book. I was pulled inside her coma, where the colors were so vivid that I could not bear their light. I was not afraid, but in a constant state of heightened awareness. He did protect me inside of him, as if he insulated me from any harm. What he showed me I cannot describe, but it was beautiful and terrifying, and had nothing in common with my own life or my world. I witnessed the end of some world. I was the last atom left behind, and all the rest changed energy before my eyes and vanished from my sight. Oh, it was horrifying, and I knew no matter how strong I had become, this was almost too much, and I wondered if I would not go mad, no matter what decision I made. I started to fall into swoons at any time and at any moment, and then these visions would come. I danced on the heads of snakes, and I did feel strong, and the courage expanded through my body. But when I closed my eyes, I saw her. 
When I closed my eyes, I saw her. He would place her inside of me. She would be the receptacle of me. I saw into her world, and I would prefer annihilation because I know that he will never come back there. He promised me. He said, if you do as I wish, I will wish you both well and leave you both in peace and never return. You have free will at this moment, both of you do. I cannot force either of you. He said to me, my daughter, will you go into her? And then he turned to me and he said to me, will you take my daughter into you? I wait for your answer. No. No.